I'm Nicole Arnold, and this is the story of the Christmas schooner. <laughs> Great. So, it's Christmas Eve. Dinner's getting prepared, and then enters Peter Stossel. And he's like, yo, I've been working all day. I'm so hungry. And Alma loves him so much. And so she's just like, dude, it's Christmas Eve. Like, I thought you'd be here, but you've been so busy. And like, it's getting late and I was worried. And he's like, it's fine. It was super cold. But first of all, oh my God, this tree is gorgeous. And she's like, thank you, I know. And he gives her a kiss. And Peter notices because Alma got a letter in the mail and she, Alma is unbelievable because she sees a letter in the mail that's addressed to Peter and you know what she doesn't do? She doesn't open it. She's like, this is for Peter and I can see the address on the back of this letter and I know that it's from Martha but it's intended for Peter to open it. She's written it for Peter so I'm going to just set it right here. I'm going to set it in the centerpiece so that I remember, but just so that it's it's there for Peter to open. And he notices because he's just taking in all of the Christmas around him and he's like, hey, like, what's this in the centerpiece? And she's like, oh, hey, like, don't worry, I didn't read it, but I know this letter is from Martha, like, take it and pass it on. And then he doesn't read it yet. And then, da 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 da, like all of a sudden they hear these bells ringing and these whips whipping and they're like, hey, yo, like Steve's finally here. He must have brought some friends. And so everyone's like wearing straw, kind of like, like, um, what's his name? Wizard of Oz. Scarecrow? <laughs> tradition and Carl's kind of like you know when I grow up I want to be a mummer so he puts on Rudy's costume almost like I know I just cleaned but it's fine because this is tradition and like we love having these people here to make noise and drive away oh no <laughs> oh my god it's amazing it's so good and um we got a new drink they sit down and Peter's kind of like, I'm gonna pull a branch out of this centerpiece. And everyone's like, what are you about to do? And he's like, listen, like, it's a German tradition. Like, we're gonna pass this branch around. We're gonna pass it along. And everyone's just so grateful to be there. They're like, sure, fine. Like, that sounds great. Like, you had so many blessings and you're gonna give them to me and I feel so grateful. I'm happy to pass them along just because who knows where I would be on this Christmas Eve. So Alma is like sitting right next to her husband with this letter and she's like, what did Alma have to say? And he's like, oh my God, like I totally forgot the mummers came in and like threw everything off. So let me read this letter. And so he like, opens it up and unfolds it and he's like the letter says something like hey the Stossel family like I love you guys so much I just want to let you know that like I think about you guys especially every time Christmas comes around and like my mom's Christmas cookies were so good and like I can't recreate them and no one I know can recreate them so just like it's just such a bummer and like and then I'm in my house and there's like a light and not a Christmas tree and I just wish there was a tree you know what I mean and like Peter's kind of like reading the letter and he's like yeah I know exactly what you mean like the tree was huge and then Martha's like those times I spent with you are like everything to me and now I'm here in Chicago and there's just like so many people and so many like just so much mud and there's just like not enough trees you know what I mean like I'm not gonna be selfish I'm not gonna like cut down a tree for my house but at the same time I'm like there's no tree here so like where do the presents go like I'm 
confused and just sad. And Peter's like, yeah, I get that so much. And he's like, holy cow, like, I spend so much time just filling boats with stuff. Like, why can't I just fill this boat that I know how to run and fill it with trees? and send it to Martha. Like, she wants a tree. She grew up with a tree. Now she doesn't have a tree. Like, she doesn't have a tree. And I was like, hey, Peter, I love you so, so much, but I love you so much. And you can't just fill this boat with trees and go across Lake Michigan in December, like that's crazy. Northern Michigans are just like so fierce and so heavy and just terrible. You can't go on a boat on the water with these trees. You're crazy. Like, forget about it. Kiss me. I'm gonna make you some pudding. And he's like, fine. Um, uh, fine. It's fine. A year goes by. Everyone kind of thinks, I think even Opa, even Peter probably, everyone's like, I'm going to forget about this letter. But one day, Peter comes home from work and is like, hey, Alma, like, there are so many trees. And they're so close together that they can't grow to be their fullest, most wonderful selves. And she's like, that's a wonderful project. Like, you boys need to keep busy out there. Like, just chop down the trees that are going to get squished. And he's like, I definitely am going to do that. But, like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. This might be crazy. But, like, what if I chop down all of these trees that are going to get squished and I fill this boat that I own, I'll fill it and we'll sail it across the lake. We've made it this trip so many times, we're gonna fill it with the Christmas trees. And he's like, I know that I'm crazy, but like, I think people will really buy it. And he like, goes with his heart and that's what's beautiful and important. And he decides to do it. So there's Steve, Louie, Hans, Oscar, Rudy. And you know what else? <laughs> That's the squad. And so, like, the squad is, like, hunkering down to, like, do this Christmas job. And, like, the women band together and they're like, it sucks that we have to say goodbye to our husbands and just these people that we care about so much. So I guess they gotta go across the lake and we just have to be supportive women and that's just where we are. So let's just quilt about it. So the crew was all on the water. They just, they did endure a storm. Peter, Peter is like, oh my God, okay, like the fog is becoming, like I can see through the fog now and I see something out there. I know exactly where we are. Something is out there that I have never seen before. And everyone's like squinting and covering their eyes and they're like, okay. Like there are people out there like, it must be like someone famous is coming to the town and his name is Christ Mass Schooner. And who notices it? It must be, oh my God, it's Opa. He goes, no, like Christmas schooner. That's what the sign is. Like those people that you're seeing vaguely in the distance, like they are here waiting for us. So they like, they kind of feed on the energy that they're getting from Chicago and they're like, hey guys, like you're obviously so excited about us. Like we hoped you'd be here, but we're so thankful you're here. And then Opa's like, out of all of these 500 people I've 
seeing him, like, I recognize that bra. And although I've never seen her in glasses, I know for a fact that that is Martha in glasses. And Martha is like, oh my God, like, you made it. That storm was crazy and you made it here. And Peter is like, no worries. Like, we have trees of all kinds, like any kind you could ask for or hope for or size, like I have them. And so Martha's like, amazing. Like I brought all my friends and they all like have specific <laughs> needs. And so everyone gets on the boat and Peter's like, we have balsam and